In today's video, we are going to check out the stolen horse from Ohm's Pedals. What's up everyone, my name is Zach. Today we are checking out the Stolen Horse from Ohm's Pedal. The Stolen Horse is a fustortion-like pedal, um, in my opinion. You can get some really cool gated fuzz tones out of it, some nice, crunchy, crunchy distortion tones out of it. Basically, if you're looking for anything that covers all the bases, this thing can cover them. All right, so let's go over the controls real quick of the stolen horse, just so we could get this out of the way, just so I could talk more about my experience with this pedal since I've had it. So the controls are fairly simple. You have your bass and treble frequencies right here. What these are going to do, it's going to boost or cut that frequency. You have your volume and you have your gain right here in the middle. You have a three-way mid selector right here so you're going to go from scooped mids to flat sounding mids to a very boosted mid tone and then right over here you have your saturation um, this is a two-way selector in the up position it's just going to be a very wide open tone it's just going to sound very big and then in the bottom, it's going to be a bit boosted, very mid focus. It's just going to really saturate your overall tone very well. So since having this pedal, I was able to get a lot of cool tones uh, out of this thing. You could go from a like nice, crisp, overdriven tone, distortion tone right there that just really cuts through the mix super well. You can get some really cool gated fuzz tones out of this. The thing I want to add about this pedal is it has plenty of bass on tap, so if you're a fan of those nice, wooly, big tones, this could definitely do it. Just overall, it really covers everything that you might be looking for in a pedal. And I'm not really trying to say that in a, like a salesman type pitch or anything, but really, like, I was able to get multiple tones out of this where I didn't feel they all sounded similar. Every tone I got out of this sounded distinctly different than the other one. Like I said before, I was getting some cool gated uh, tones out of it. I was even getting some really cool like hyper fuzz tones out of this thing. With a lot of tweaking and depending on what amp you're using, it's going to be different. But I mainly was using my mad amp, which I felt it did very well with the Mad Amp going into a dirtier tone, but I feel you really don't get the most out of this pedal. I feel everything is kind of masked in a bit. And what I mean, what I mean by that is the, like for the bass frequencies or the treble frequencies, you really don't hear a difference um, drastically when using a dirtier style amp. Now, when I was using the Ampeg V4, it was a completely different story. Everything was nice and pronounced, and I could hear the changes that each of these things were doing with the pedal. So I think it's a really well thought out pedal, just because it has a little something for everybody. So for this section of the demo, we used a Ampeg V4. 
using the Two Notes Captor X, using some cab IRs. Let's take a look and a listen to The Stolen Horse.
All right, so that is the stolen horse. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the pedal. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future demos. But until then, I'm Zach, and this is...